trigonometry. Good morning. Welcome to TMMS Productions. Today we are going to learn how to get the ratios of standard angles. That is the trick number one. In order to find the ratios of standard angles, we will use a tool which we always have with us that is our hand. So we are going to use the five fingers of our hand and we are going to number them. So we start with our little finger going up to our thumb and we number them one, two, three, four, five. Now number one becomes our zero degrees, number two becomes our 30 degrees, number three becomes 45 degrees, number four becomes 60 degrees and number five becomes 90 degrees. So we got to remember this order 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees. Now in order to find the sign we will go towards the left. This is for the sign ratio and, and if we have to find the cos we will go on the right hand side. So if we need cos theta we go on the right. If we want sine theta we will go on the left. Let us look at our sine of 0 degree. So I have marked this finger. Now look at the fingers which are on the left hand side. So basically we have to look at the fingers on the left hand side for sine and we have to take the square root of that. So for 0, we are looking at the little finger. On the left, there are no fingers. And so it will be 0. You take the square root of that and you divide by 2. And so you have square root of 0, which is 0. So sine 0 degrees, I shall write here 0 degrees. Sine of 0 degrees will be 0. Now let us look at the cos. Cos of 0 degrees, you look at the fingers on the right. How many fingers? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we write 4 and we take the square root of that and then we divide it by 2. And so that gives us 2 upon 2 which is equal to 1. If we want the tan, all we have to do is sine upon cos. So 0 upon 1 which is equal to 0. So that is our sine, cos and tan ratio of 0 degrees. Now we come to 30 degrees. 30 degrees, you look at the sign means the fingers on the left. So I marked this 30 degrees finger. On the left is one finger. So we do root of 1. So we take root of 1 which is 1 and upon 2. So that gives you half. Now let us look at the cos. How many fingers on the right of this? Cos meaning you have to go to the right. And so we have three fingers. We will do this. And that gives us our cos of 30 degrees. Then we look at the tan. Tan is half divided by 2 upon root 3. So tan is sine upon cos. That will give us 2, 2 getting cancelled and 1 upon root 3. We now come to 45 degrees. For 45 degrees, I have marked this finger. Now, sign means you will have to go on the left. How many fingers? 2. So, we will take root of 2 and we divide by 2. And that will give us this 2 is root 2 into root 2. One of the root 2's gets cancelled and we will have 1 upon root 2. Look at our cos on the right. How many fingers? 2. We do exactly the same thing. So we'll have root of 2 divided by 2, which is going to give us again 1 upon root 2. Now, tan becomes sine of 45 upon cos of 45, 1 upon root 2 divided by 1 upon root 2, which is going to give us 1. So you see that everywhere. What is our pattern? We will see the fingers on the left for sine, on the right for cos, Take the root of it and divide by 2. So let us come to now the next one that is 60 degrees. 
For 60 degrees, we have looked at the fingers on the left for sign. There are three fingers. Root of that gives us root 3 and that divided by 2 gives us sign of 60. Isn't it simple? Now look at our right hand side. That is one finger here. That is the thumb. So 1, we take the root of that and that will be 1 upon 2 and then we will have the value of cos. Now we come to tan. Tan will be sine upon cos which is going to be root of 3. The last one is our 90 degrees. Now for 90 degrees our sine, look at the fingers on the left, 4 fingers. Root of 4 that is 2 upon 2 will give us 1. Now let us look at the cos. How many fingers on the right? 0. 0 upon 2 and that will be 0. Now look at the tan. Sine upon cos. Sine upon cos 1 upon 0 and that is infinity. So these are our basic ratios of standard angles. Let us look at the ratios once again. For sine, we look at the fingers on the left. For cos, we look at the fingers on the right. When it is sine, we look at the fingers on the left and take the root of that, divide by 2. For cos ratio, look at the fingers on the right, take the root of that and divide by 2. So we have understood how to take the sine value, we know how to take the cos value and we now know how to get the tan which is sine upon cos. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.